Hello everybody, Aru here and welcome to my final loot table video, probably for this leak, we will see. I was running 48 Twist of Fate maps and wanted to see how profitable it is and what the loot would be. If you're not familiar with the strategy, I'm going to explain it in a second, but um, first let's look through all these tabs. So basically this is all the 200 jewels that we found and I already emptied out pretty much everything and sold everything that was sellable. There's still some, some stuff sitting here. Oh, I've not priced this correctly. And this is all the currency that we had or that we got from the 50 maps, including some stuff that we sold for a bunch of money. This is uh, all the scarabs and all the essences and there's some Voidborn keys left. I already sold all the Valos boxes for 3.5 div each, I think. And this is all the maps that are left. I also sold, like I think, already a full tab or something. And yeah, this is pretty much it. So let's quickly have a look at how this looks in UE stack. All right, so here's the UE stack window. Everything that we dropped is selected and we come to a total of 179 divine orbs. Always, I would always take this with a grain of salt, right? So let me put this overlay here quickly. Whoops. We see how I position this. This could be, could be a bit, bit annoying, but um, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Let's put this here for now. This is a bit smaller. Small. All right. Anyway, so let's quickly look through this. Um, there is, as you can see here in the breakdown, there is a lot of currency in here. 128 divs in currency, which is obviously super liquid. Then we have the scarab, super liquid. We have some diff cards. I would take this with a grain of salt because um, diff cards are can can really vary. So I decided to go go and make this like a two. Okay, this is more like eight divs and thirty percent lower value, right? We um, did find ninety raw divines. We already sold some valuable jewels and, and everything. Six hundred C, four hundred seventy sextons. We still have in there. And the maps, I also said, okay, let's make it six divs because map prices were a bit too high, in my opinion, um, that were assumed. And as you could see in game before, we also have a ton, like over 200 corrupted jewels and some corrupted items. Still have a base laying around that is roughly 15 divines. Um, and overall, with that assumption, like with this very low assumption here that we, so I assume that with the 200 that are left from the jewels, we will make 15 divines. I think that's a very conservative assumption. I think it's more like, like 30 at least. But um, yeah, I want to give this a conservative assumption because uh, I want to overinflate the strategy, make it more than it is. Maybe someone would have something to complain about it. So um, anyway, so overall, with this assumption, we have around 200 divines in profit, rough estimate. We have around 50 divines in costs. We are running Delirium Mirror. We're running uh, beyond this 120C per four maps, 16% pack size in Anadid. And uh, we, I was running 16X Enraged Quant. I don't think you need to do this. You can definitely do the 4x, which is way more or way cheaper than the 16. Um, that's only 500% instead of 600%. And then you go random 
gilded scarabs because what we are doing is basically our temple maps we go twist of fate so we get a random layout and we get randomized scarabs masses etc but uh, i will also show you my my tree in a second but it's nothing super special it's basically the typical wandering path strategy and what's really cool about it is that most of the time you get into an unidentified map and that's benefit benefiting huge from from pack size and unid maps that's why we are running this right so overall we have around 1.5 divines investment per, per map as i calculated and yeah we went over all of this already made, made some assumptions that this would be a Selling a bit lower, and we still have we have over two hundred divines, and we still have like all of this stuff to sell, right? So I'm assuming fifteen divs from this. The overall profit, and these assumptions are correct, is two hundred divines, fifty divining costs. So that's raw three point one divine per map that we make. And also keep in mind that we did not find anything significant. No headhunter, no mage blood, nothing. And I think the highest valuable item that we sold was a 10 div jewel or 15 div. I'm not really sure anymore, or maybe 12. I mean, these jewels are very valuable, so I'm saying it's, it's pretty good to find them, but it's like we didn't find anything around 50 divs or something, or 30 divs. So, the last question is. How many of these maps can we run right per hour oh it's a great question so it's very very layout dependent some maps are finished in five minutes or under five minutes depending on how fast you're running in the affliction but it's really ranging from five to ten minutes so i said okay let's average out to, to 7.5 minutes if your build is better obviously you can can go faster um, but I think you will take it will definitely take some time. Also, what you should keep in mind is I'm not really good at the affliction mechanic. I think I averaged um, I averaged around maybe 4k with. I'm really bad at that, to be honest. And so yeah, with this strategy, we still made around 25 discs per hour. I think it's pretty pretty decent. It's pretty niche, and you really need to keep in mind that you've got to need a build that can run it. Right, but not too bad of an uh, of an outcome. Let me go back into game and show you quickly what tree I was running. Get rid of this. I don't think we need this anymore. So you definitely need a character that can basically run all the mods. And the tree, as I said, is nothing special. It is basically just to go the ring, ring around the rosy and to take all the percentages that you can get from beyond and from, from Legion and all the stuff that is juicy. You don't have to run this, to be honest. I think I want to get rid of this after 200 maps for the completion. It's, it's too much reading. Like if you click defense shrines that lower your defense, that's kind of shit. And really do that, especially per friendly charges. It's, it's going to be really rippy, even for like a super strong character as mine. Um, not super strong in terms of damage, but like in terms of survivability, character is definitely super beefy overall. But that doesn't matter if you have 99% reduced defenses, right? So yeah, nothing, nothing too fancy here in the tree. Um, I think you have seen this before, like roughly this. I'm considering, I was considering getting rid of this completely. I think you can do this without abyss. The question is, what else would you run? But I think you're very flexible with this. I think the overall currency that you make would be pretty similar. And don't forget to run Twist of Fate here, which will randomize the map that you're running. I mean, the downside overall is you have to run a random layout. So it could be really shitty. It could be really good. Also, keep in mind that your map will get randomized, um, but not most of the time. Most of the time, you will get the same map. So it does make sense. To use a filter so I'm, I'm filtering out so these were all filtered out it does make sense to use a filter just sometimes the map gets changed but i think it's still worth it right especially if you have those 50 percent non non-effect of uh, auras this is really bad for me um otherwise yeah pretty straightforward loot everything 
every double corrupted unique that you that you can or if you think it's just like so low value obviously it's it's better if you have a bit gain knowledge you think it's so low value you just leave it on the ground most of the time if i have the space i just pick them up and put them in here and then sort later if it does not sell for one divine i'm not even bothering with it but a lot of stuff also already sold and you would be surprised how many trash uniques people buy and i mean these jewels here if you find these double corrupted you would also be surprised for how much these go these are really the gold mine of the strategy you will sell countless of these for five to ten divines easily right and that's why i'm saying i think it's pretty conservative um to assume that all of these will only sell for 15 divs it takes some time to sell them so be aware of that you need a lot of what tabs for the strategy i would i would actually you know, i would um i would suggest right i still have a lot of these full and i also have um some here but i think i'm very close to like four of these sold on this page none of these sold so i think i'm gonna throw all of these away um but yeah i still have a lot of these some are really really useless obviously but a lot of them as I said, are selling for one divine plus. And I usually, if someone messages me for a one divine item, I will, that's the time when I will actually price check it and then I will tell the guy, okay, sorry, it was not, not price checked yet. And it's my, my dumb tab. Do you want to buy it for whatever price I decide it would be? And otherwise I will list it and it will go down in price over the days. So that's the strategy. I think overall it's pretty good. Um, if you want to run it, keep in mind, reflect and everything, and that you need a really good character to run all the mods. Otherwise you could break a couple of, of maps every now and then. Um, if you want to see some gameplay of that, there is uh, bots in my library. So definitely check them out, and then you can see some, some gameplay of these maps. If you're interested in the build that I used, uh, check my build guide and also if you like the video give me a follow give me a subscription uh, subscription yeah subscription actually right on youtube yeah um, subscribe to my channel it would be nice and um yeah see you in the next one i think to be honest in the next one we might make a new character actually like actually a character that makes that deals damage but i will see <laughs> like a lot of damage but yeah that's it for me. I hope you liked the video. And uh, yeah, have, a, have good luck. Bye.